Marcus Conte reporting. Marcus Conte reporting. Good morning. Good morning. Talking about Jeffrey Epstein again. The man who is more famous in death than he was in life. <laughs> or was he? <laughs> He's pretty famous dead. He's a dead famous dead guy now, right? But is he dead? I don't know. Is he dead, right? Because the, the three, here's the, here's the conspiracy so far. <clears throat> let's, keep, let's keep the conspiracies in order, right? So the first conspiracy is that Jeffrey Epstein suicided himself. Nothing else to see here. Nothing to see here as a man sitting in his prison cell and decided he wanted to take his own life and killed himself. That is, seems to be uh, impossible under the circumstances of the jail he was being held in, which was a kind of a maximum security, maximum surveillance type of place. The second conspiracy is he, he was killed by prison guards or an inmate, or he was assisted, he was given assistance to kill himself. Uh, he was given a window of opportunity to kill himself or be killed by somebody else. Uh, that's the, uh, in my view, that's the lead, the lead uh, theory right now. Killed or be killed, well, what difference does it make? Did he kill himself? Would someone kill him? Whatever. He's dead. Uh, the other one is, uh, is oh, he let he was let out the back door. He was an asset to Mossad in in, in Israel. And, and, and the Israeli Mossad protects their own, and they put on a, a fake, they put a fake Epstein and rolled the fake Epstein into the hospital, but the real Epstein went out the back door. Right. There's that theory, too. And the, the other one is interesting, a, a witness protection. He's in witness protection. Witness, what, how is he, why would he be in witness protection if he was the main the lead suspect in the case. He's not, he's, not a, he's not a witness to anybody else. They're not interested in that. They already have, they have those witnesses in place. They already had those witnesses in place, the three women that were procuring um, sex favors, uh, procuring girls for sex favors for him, right? that they gave them immunity. And those immunity deals are now off the table. So those are the, those are the ones. So uh, suicide, nothing to see here. Prison guards killed him. He was uh, assisted to kill himself. Um, he was let out the back door, and he's, he's sitting on a beach in Israel, and he's in witness protection. Those are the three. So let's look at, let's look at the evidence. Let's let the evidence lead us. I know, can't believe anything, right, because it's all conspiracy, and the only, way to, the only way to solve American problems is total anarchy. You have to tear it down, right? The deep state. The fucking deep state is all over us, man. It's gonna, you get the fucking fist up our ass, the deep state, right? But how many people? How many? How many fucking people is there? How many major? How many major arrests, indictments, uh, or and or incarcerations of any deep state players have been so far under Bush? Uh, not Bush under Trump. And, and Mr. A.G. and Mr. Mr. Uh, fucking, what was the other guy, Trust Sessions? How many? How many? Zero. 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 No, none. Not a single arrest, in, indictment, or incarceration of any deep state player. Just for the record. Right? So, so, here is the, here is the uh, having said that, Here's the video. Here's the actual photographs. These are the photographs that we're expected to believe are, are um, real. Are they? I don't know. Is that a is that a a body, a plastic body with a with an Epstein mask on? Well, we've seen some pretty good masks. I mean, it's not impossible. Is this a Hollywood set? I don't know. There's a couple of interesting tells right here. This is Gold Street. So it is. If it is a even a fake picture, it was. It appears to have been done in the ambulance area of the hospital and uh someone says that's a fake ear that's not his real ear <laughs> oh uh someone said that his 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 face is shaven that they wouldn't give up they wouldn't give him a his no mustache that's interesting there is no mustache it doesn't look like his ear when you compare it to the ear his regular ear but this is all we have right so is it, oh somebody says his nose isn't pointed enough but the, the fact that he is shaven is suspicious because uh, why would you have given a pedophile, a, a suicide man, a razor blade to shave himself? Do you think somebody came in and shaved him for him? 
in in a in a uh, in a jail where you can't even get a piece of paper? No. So let's look at the evidence. Let's look at the evidence being reported to us thus far. Epstein's cause of death still official, not official after autopsy. Medical examiner. So we have an autopsy. An autopsy was done on this man. They chopped off his head. They pulled his brain out and weighed it. They looked at his heart. They inspected his neck, I'm sure, for any signs of suicide. They, they looked at his, his, his uh, f- fat, whatever, mushroom-shaped dick or whatever. Right? They checked his body out, up and down, up his ass. Right? What they do in autopsies. Right? So a thorough autopsy, autopsy was done. Jeffrey Epstein's autopsy has been completed according to city, uh, city officials, but the medical examiner's office needs further information before determining a cause of death. Well, yeah, toxicology, you know, there's other things that they need to confirm, but in their mind, they already know what happened. Sources tell the Post that a determination will likely come early next week. Oh, well, that's good. Right? So here, here's the deal, right? Conspiracy number th- four he was let out the back door. If he was let out the back door, you've got to now move forward that all of the people that we're now talking about are all lying. They're all part of the conspiracy. That's, that's just, it, it compounds the theory. Usually if, if there is a conspiracy like that to let, out, let someone out the back door, they're not going to leave a paper trail. They're going to say, oh, there is no autopsy. Or we're not going to show you the autopsy. They're not going to say that there is an autopsy because then it's a public record, and they're going to show it to us. Right? We're going to, we'll probably see it. I know, is it faked? Is it fudge? Well, that's a different story. But was there a Jeffrey Epstein on the table, dead? It, it appears so far, yes. Today, a medical examiner performed the autopsy of Jeffrey Epstein, said Chief Medical Examiner Dr. Barbara Sampson in a statement Sunday night. So Dr. Barbara Stam- Sampson, a chief medical examiner, is now on the record saying, that she did an autopsy on Jeffrey Epstein. The ME's medical examiner's determination is pending further information at this time at the request of those representing the descend- deceased uh, and with awareness of federal prosecutors. I allowed a private pathologist, Dr. Michael Badden, to observe the autopsy examination. So now there's two doctors in the room, right? So there's, there's ample evidence or statements thus far to suggest that an autopsy was done and that we will see it. My office defers to the involved law enforcement agencies regarding other investigations around his death inquiries regarding blah, blah, blah. All right, so autopsy done here in New York. That means that it is, it will be a pub- public record. And as, as such, anybody can, any, any public person can walk in and have a look at that autopsy. So we'll do that if the press doesn't publish it, if the fake news doesn't publish it, then we'll go in and take a look. So, this is just, uh, I mean, this is, you've already seen the images of the jail. What's the headline? There's no video of Jeffrey Epstein's apparent suicide source, said sources. <laughs> now, do we believe that? Uh, so, that, that starts to enhance, that starts to enhance again, killed by prison guards or inmate, or assisted suicide. Because why is there no, why is there no video of Jeffrey Epstein? Let's see the, the explanation. There's no surveillance video of the in- incident during which Jeffrey Epstein apparently hanged himself in a federal lockup in Lower Manhattan, law enforcement officials told the Post on Sunday. Although there are cameras in 9 South Wing there, where the convicted pedophile was being held at the Metropolitan Correctional Center, they, they are trained on the areas outside the cells and not inside, according to sources familiar with the setup there. <laughs> bullshit. Total bullshit. Maybe they're not allowed to uh, point a, a camera inside the cell, or maybe they're not allowed, I don't know, some kind of civil rights violation if you have a camera inside the cell 24-7 on a, on, you know, on a human being. Maybe that's considered torture of some sort. But that doesn't mean they don't do it. It means that they're not allowed to say that there was a camera in the cell. Is there, was there a camera in the cell? 100% 24-7 camera, uh, a, a prison guard walking by every nine minutes. Right? So, 
So he was he was found unconscious in his cell with marks on his neck the week before. Uh, so what we know is that he was he was found he he's 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 laying unconscious. He's um I forgot what I was going to say. But but <laughs> lost my train of thought. There's no video evidence of Epstein's suicide. Okay. Let's continue. <clears throat> what else do we have? What other headlines? Epstein's guards were working extreme OT at short-staffed lockup. I uh, see what I'm saying. Like this is just yeah, so what? So what? They were working overtime. Big deal. The two Manhattan jail guards who allegedly filed failed to monitor Jeffrey Epstein before his he died had been working extreme overtime shifts amid a severe staffing shortage at the facility. Well, that would lean that would lean in the direction of someone some higher up, right? Made sure that these guys were overworked. These guys were like delirious, right? They were fucking delirious, right? And and so the jailers can go in and do their thing or they can set Epstein up to kill himself because he wanted to die, right? He definitely wanted to, that's, I believe that, that he wanted to die. Well, he didn't want to face no music, right? So, unified jailers at the Federal Manhattan Correctional Center violated procedure by failing to check on Epstein every 30 minutes before he apparently committed suicide in his cell, sources said, told Reuters. One guard was working his fifth straight day of overtime, and the other was toiling on... Uh, under mandatory overtime. Mandatory overtime. They have that shit in the city. You have to work overtime or you're fired. Yeah, they give you a piece of paper. Say you're, you're mandated. Why? It's just stupid, right? Or you want to make the guy very, very tired and um, subject them to mistakes, right? It's a throwaway, right? Yeah, yeah. He's probably a shitty, dumb, dumb guy, right? But the fact is that under the circumstances, Jeffrey Epstein was probably being watched by the smartest, best of the best, just because it was so high profile that they didn't want to make a mistake, unless the, the mistake is orchestrated. The guards were also violating procedure by leaving the convicted pedophile without a cellmate. Oh, so also, he was on, he was on suicide watch, and then they took him off suicide watch. That seems to be confirmed. I confirmed that the other day, right? So what else? Guards at Jeffrey Epstein's jail unit were working substantial overtime shifts Shahasky, before his death. That's Fox reporting as well. Jeffrey Epstein is yeah. now complete, There's the jail. But results are not There's being the man. Just yet. There's New the man. Chief right. So what else? Examiner examiner says results Continue. Will be released so other New York coroner confident Epstein was found Epstein's death in his Manhattan jail cell Saturday this morning. This dead funny, of an apparent right? suicide. He was facing trial for alleged... Shush. So the, con the cor uh, coroner, coroner is confident Epstein's death was suicide. Okay, where's the evidence? Where? We didn't see that so far. Now we're seeing it for the first time. New York coroner's chief medical examiner is confident Jeffrey Epstein died by hanging himself in the jail cell where he was being held without bail on sex trafficking charges. An autopsy was performed earlier in the day on the disgraced financer unresponsive on Saturday in his jail cell, said Barbara Sampson. A private pathologist observed, we heard. All right, well, where does it say he's confident? Where does it say that she's confident that it was suicide? This is, it doesn't say. Where does she say that she is confident that it was suicide? Where? Tell me where. I don't see it. Uh, so, okay, okay, confident, right? Here's a here's a, a, a more of a a spin. The Clover Chronicles is saying this: jail guards watching Jeffrey Epstein were reportedly reportedly told to leave hours before he committed suicide. Breaking two guards at MCC who normally have overnight shift that watches over suicide risk. Uh, risk inmates were both told to leave area three hours earlier for scheduled quote maintenance to jail cells and hallways. This morning, Epstein was found dead. Um, I don't know. Only this is the only people reporting it. Clover Chronicle. 
And then it does support the idea that it was some sort of get out of the way, like in the mob. You know, in the mob, you remember that, you remember that scene in The Godfather, the best scene in The Godfather? One of them was when, when, um, uh, when Marlon Brando, the Godfather, was in the hospital. You remember when he got shot five times and he survived? He took five bullets. He's sitting in the hospital. And, and uh, all the mobsters were, uh, the police were guarding him in the hospital. And then Michael shows up. Michael's son shows up. Michael Corleone shows up. And there's no police anywhere to be seen, right? There's just this, it's just the, one of the, you know, the most notorious gangsters, everybody wants to kill him, is sitting in his room by himself. And there's nobody protecting him. The police step off. Uh, is that possible in the city? Yeah, of course it is, right? So that's what they're saying here, that the, it's a possibility that if police are being told to step off, go home, leave the area unsecure for three hours with a guy who just tried to kill himself or is, a, you know, trying to, people are trying to kill him, uh, it's just unbelievable. Right? It's just not believable. Right? Not believable. So um, it's not believable that he, he, he was able to kill himself without this happening is what I'm saying. But did it happen? I don't know. It's just, it's just another piece getting thrown out there. Prosecutors may, it just, it just enhances, again, Killed by prison guards or assisted suicide. One or the other. That's what it is. Prosecutors may, not, may now target witnesses in Jeffrey Epstein case. All right. So that, this, is, this is confirmation that, that in light of the fact that Epstein is dead, prosecutors now have more leverage to go after the, the quote, witnesses to Epstein's behavior. Why? Because those witnesses were giving sweet, given um, sweetheart deals already to testify against Epstein. Now that Epstein's dead, they don't need those witnesses, so they can prosecute those witnesses. They take those, those deals and throw them in the garbage. Prosecutors may target cronies who were set to testify against Jeffrey Epstein before his death, as the FBI investigates new claims by more than 200 women who say they were sexually assaulted. 200 new claims by the wealthy pedophile. Epstein's indictment uh, referenced three unidentified employees who served as co-conspirators. We know who they are. There's the fucking the one that pretends to be his wife. And sources said several people had cut deals with prosecutors to testify against a millionaire. Right? But in the wake of Epstein's apparent suicide in a lower Manhattan lockup, the wannabe witnesses may wind up getting prosecuted to the full extent of the law. They were getting a deal to testify against Epstein, one source said. Now, prosecutors don't need him. Ah, so better dead than alive right, so far, right? Why, why give him witness protection? For what? The witnesses are, are already got their sweetheart deals. He's the accused. Now you say, oh, the witnesses, the, the higher conspiracy, the, the other names and the factor. Again, I'll read it. There has not been one major arrest, indictment, or incarceration of any deep state player, meaning billionaires, high-profile politicians, never, never. It hasn't happened. It hasn't happened. So, sorry to pop your cue bubble. Sorry to Sorry to interfere with your, with your theory of, of, uh, of anarchy. Tear it all down. It's all, it's all death and dying. Uh, so, so what else do we know here? What else do we know? What else do we know, Jeffrey? Jeffrey, in, is he in heaven or hell? <laughs> that says, uh, is Jeffrey Epstein in heaven or hell? He's probably in hell, right? Burning like a motherfucker, right? So, okay, what else? I think this is the last one. Epstein's victims plan to sue his estate after apparent suicide. All right, well, that, again, confirms more uh, in the direction of he's better dead than alive. Right, so where's the, so, so to say that he's in witness protection, that doesn't really make sense. To say that he was let out the back door of a conspiracy, well, there is no, there is no evidence of that, you, now you have to say that all the people in the prison are lying, all the medical examiners are lying. You, you have to say that that 
the even the AG um, William Barr, who stepped in to poke around to see what's going on, was lied to by somebody in the prison system. So it, it has to be a widespread conspiracy to get a, a, a around that, right? To say that that uh, because people see it, right? There's 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 EMTs, there's hospitals, there's doctors. There's so many people involved in the um, in the uh, touching and handling of the body that to say that he's not dead is is a, it makes it indicts all those people on on conspiracy to commit fraud co- to commit something right to hide a dead body to forge medical documents right? it compounds as the process goes on now if there was no suicide you know. If we had a, um, you know, there's no, there's no video. That's that's said. We're not going to see any video. There is video, but we're just not going to see it. So, Marcus Conte reporting on the latest with Jeffrey Epstein. There's a lot there. You know, it's 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 ongoing, and um, maybe today it's uh, Monday. It's it's early in the morning, New York time. Maybe we'll see some sort of more official. Uh, statement from the from you know FBI CIA or whoever is handling it when the suits come out in front of the cameras maybe the I guess the mayor you know the Blasio may take an opportunity to step up he's only down the block literally I mean City Hall is literally you know a couple of hundred and maybe like a not even a quarter of a mile away from that prison it's crazy you could see it in the background of the of the jail uh, so uh so there you have it. There's the uh, there's the latest on you know continue your you know continue the conspiracy theories. The anarchists are going to tear down. You have to tear down the country before you can build or get any change. You have to educate everybody about the deep state, the deep state. Or is it something rather obvious? Do we follow the evidence? Do we follow the evidence in this case? And that evidence is Marcus Conti predicting it. Assisted suicide, Marcus Conti reporting.